How's it going there boys and girls? I'm going to show you guys how I made over 100 million coins through Bizarre Flipping. Now, it doesn't work as good as it used to. Like when I first started doing this, we were making like 10, 20 million coins over the course of like two hours doing this. But I mean, at the same time, it's not really like a set in stone, like it makes this many coins per hour because it changes depending on how fast your buy and sell orders go through and it depends on the margins that you're going for and whatnot. So there's a lot of different factors, but nonetheless, it still makes like a lot of money. It doesn't work as good as it used to, but it still makes a ton of money. But anyways, let me show you you guys how you do it. All right, so before I actually go through and explain how you flip in the Bazaar NPC, I just want to stress the fact that you never want to use these two buttons. It doesn't really matter why you don't use them, but just please don't ever click these two buttons. You're losing out on potential profits every time you click buy and sell instantly. But besides that, the way that you actually flip is what you're doing is you're clicking these two buttons and you're looking at the margins between the top orders and the top offers. So you can buy at 450,000 coins and you can sell at 451,000 coins, which means that every super compactor you buy, you'll make a thousand coins on. Now, these aren't very good margins. And in my opinion, I mean, you'll still make money doing this, but there's items that are that have better margins. I'm just showing super compactors just because it's the most common one that I flip. However, the margins change minute to minute. Like this could become a 50,000 coin margin in the next two minutes. I mean, all it takes is for one person to unload a bunch of super compactors or buy a bunch of super compactors to change the margins. So it changes minute to minute. So I, I just want to emphasize the fact that there is no best item to flip because every item changes minute to minute. So I hope all that makes sense so far, but ultimately what you're doing is you're going to click the create a buy offer button. You're going to enter in the amount that you want. So let's just say like 10 super compactors, right? And then you're going to click this button right here. Now, the reason you click this button and not any of the other ones is because this one only adds 0.1 coins to it. Like, like you don't want to use 5% of spread and you don't want to use same as top order. I mean, you can use same as top order, but I just click this button right here. And then you don't want to set a custom price because it takes too long to type in the numbers. So just click the plus 0.1 button right here. And then you place your order, right? And then once that order goes through, let's just assume that it's already gone through, right? And I have the super compactors in my inventory. What you're going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to click create a sell offer. And then you're going to click the same button again and you're going to click minus 0.1 right i wouldn't flip super compactors at a thousand coin margin just because it's it's not very much money like you'd have to buy 150 of them to make 151,000 coins. So what you should be doing is flipping items with bigger margins. Now, some of the good ones that I have noticed are if you buy enchanted baked potatoes at 156K and then you craft them into hot potato books and go right here and then click uh, create a sell offer, you can sell for 164K, right? So that's a good flip right there. I mean, you're going to make 8,000 coins on every one of them. So I would definitely recommend hot potato books. However, of course, as I just said a minute ago, it changes minute to minute. Now I've noticed that golden teeth sometimes have really big margins like a 10,000 coin margin right there but at the same time like you're you're only interested in buying and selling items with high volume so for example you don't want to go over to mushrooms and flip enchanted brown mushroom blocks there's absolutely no volume and you can determine the volume right here by the amount that were bought and sold in the last hour so you just look at that last x so it's probably like two or three of them were bought and sold in the last hour, which means your buy and sell orders will never go through, right? So you only want to flip items with high volume. So the margins don't really matter if you're flipping in large amounts of them for low margins versus high margins with no volume. So Enchanted Mushroom Blocks have no volume. I mean, like they have good margins, like that's an 11,000 coin margin, but your buy and sell orders are never going to go through. So it, it's a good margin, but there's no volume. So, so you want items with high volume. For example, like Hot Potato Books have super high volume, Summoning eyes have super high volume, so you can buy at 651k, you can sell at 669. Now, this is one that I would actually do right here. So I'm I'm gonna place an order for 50 summoning eyes, and then I'm gonna click this button right here. I'm gonna try and buy 50 summoning eyes. Now, once these go through, like one of them just did, right? So I just bought that for 651k. I'm gonna claim these two summoning eyes that I just bought. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna create a sell offer, and I'm gonna sell them. So I make uh what is that? 18,000 coins on every summoning eye that I sell back because I bought at 651. Now, I know me making this video is definitely going to hurt the margins because the more people that do this, the smaller the margins are going to get. And ultimately, these margins can exist forever as long as people don't get greedy. So what happens if people get greedy is what they do is they take and they buy 50 summoning eyes and they don't want to wait for their order to go through. So, so they're not going to click this button. They're going to set a custom price that's a lot higher than what this button would yield, right? So so that means that they're basically damaging their own margin and ruining it for everybody else. So please, for the sake of all of us being able to make money, don't ever set a custom price significantly higher than what everybody else is paying for them right now. So like you don't go through and buy them at 655K because you just knocked 4,000 coins out of your margin 
when you could have just bought them for plus 0.1, right? So the reason that this gets hurt is because people go through and do that. But I mean, as of right now, this obviously still works. Like this is proof that it works right there, right? Because I bought at 651 and now I'm going to sell at 659. It might have even already gone through. It hasn't yet, but like you can cancel them and you can replace it just because people will, they'll one up you and then it'll top your order. So then your order might take longer to go through. However, if you just cancel and replace it, like, like it just went through instantly right there, right? So I, I just bought those two right here for 651. And in the course of the last 15 seconds, I made like 20,000 coins just off of that. That's it. So, so that's how simple it is, right? But there's like, people don't really understand it. So no one's doing it. So the margin still exists. So I don't know how many people are going to see this video, but I would presume that it's not going to be like a hundred thousand people. So I guarantee the first people who see this video are going to make a ton of money off of this because like the margins won't be destroyed yet. Now this works for every item. Like I, I only gave examples of like golden teeth and hot potato book summoning eyes and super compactors, but this, this works for everything. Like you, you could do it with lapis, right? Like you buy at five point nine you sell at eight point two like it's it's literally every item it just comes down to volume you don't want to buy and sell enchanted diamond blocks because there is no volume i mean there's hardly even a margin there to begin with like a two thousand coin margin you're so much better off doing summoning eyes because there's such high volume and it's such a bigger margin if you look at the volume there there was what probably like 250 of them bought in the last hour so 250 times ten thousand right like 2.5 million coins is is what you could have made if you had bought all those 250 in the last hour and then you just flipped them back for 10,000 coins more, or like even more than 10,000 coins, 18,000 coins more. So I actually made like 38,000 coins on these right here. So, so you guys see how I just bought 34 of them, right? I'm gonna claim all of those, I'm gonna go back, and then I'm gonna sell them. You can do stuff in the auction master and buy it there for lower than what it sells for here. You can also do it vice versa. You can buy super compactors for 450K here and sell them in the bazaar. And most of the time they go for more than 450K because people still don't understand the bazaar. So they just default to what they know. So they just buy them in the auction house. If you look at some of these like 471K, so you could have just bought that for 450K and then sold it on the auction house and made 20,000 coins just by buying it from 10 blocks back and then selling it right here, right? So I mean like all of these right here, like that's a whole row of them going for more like 500k 542k like almost every one of these is going to go for more than what their value is over here so you just buy them here sell them in the auction house however this isn't fail proof and they could undersell and you could lose money so it's definitely more risky and then also this entire thing is not fail proof boys like i've almost lost money doing this the only reason i didn't lose money is because i crafted wolf pets with the wood that i overpaid for so i ended up making money but i could have lost money like you could set up a buy order overnight and buy super compactors at 450k each and wake up tomorrow with a hundred of them and then the price could be selling at 425k so in theory if you sell you lost 25,000 coins per so you don't want to hold items overnight you want to buy and sell over the course of like a very short period of time like the second that you buy them you want to sell them right so I just sold all those or almost all those summoning eyes and I probably just made I don't know 500k since I started recording this video right there so that just shows how powerful this is and how much money you can still make doing this it makes more money than literally anything else in the game and you can do this on top of doing other stuff in the game like you can set up a hundred summoning eye buy order go and do something for like 20 minutes minutes come back and then just flip them and make a million coins off of doing nothing but placing the order right but anyways boys that's going to conclude the whole video right there i mean i hope that that gave you like a really good explanation on how to do this and i hope this video helps and allows you to make a whole bunch of money through this method that obviously still works because i did it throughout the video but that sums up all of it that's all that i have to show you guys for this stuff as i said you can use the auction house and make money through that as well by buying lower than what it sells for here and then buy here and sell there etc etc but anyways that's the whole video i'd appreciate it if you guys could come and check out my live streams i stream every day if you guys could join the discord it's down in the description because youtube notifications don't work so even if you turn on notifications i guarantee youtube's not actually going to send you a notification for when i go live or when i upload another video so if you guys could join the discord because i know those notifications actually work and i ping there when i go live there's also a whole bunch of people in the discord who are constantly talking about like what has good margins and what's good to flip and what you should buy in the auction house to sell here because what's underselling and what's overselling and whatnot there, there's always like a whole discussion on this stuff over there so if you guys could join the discord there's people to talk to about this stuff over there everyone just wants to make money so they're all helping each other out over there giving each other good ways to flip and whatnot but that's the whole video right there i appreciate you guys watching